Hello everyone. I welcome you all for SVK tutorials. In this video, I am going to discuss the topic called uh, radius of curvature for a polar curve. I am going to derive an expression to find uh, the radius of curvature in po for the polar curve. So, for that we should uh, consider a curve uh, r equal to f of theta. We shall uh, sketch the graph for that. Consider a curve r equal to f of theta in a plane. So, this is the curve called r equal to f of theta. So, in that curve, I am considering a point called P is P of r comma theta. If uh, this is the initial line called x axis or O, so join the initial point and uh, the point which we considered on the curve. I'm going to join the initial point and the curve. So that makes an uh, that is nothing but a radius vector. Radius vector is a OP and makes an angle makes an angle theta makes an angle theta and draw a tangent and draw a tangent at this point P draw a tangent at this point P which touches uh, the initial line and makes an angle psi and makes an angle psi and uh, you know that uh, the angle between the radius vector and a tangent is given by phi is given by phi so this is the graph i have constructed now if i go with the proof of this so uh, i'm going to give a description consider consider a curve consider a curve r equal to f of theta consider a curve r equal to f of theta let p be a point on it let p be a point on it and also i will consider the initial point of the curve as a I'll make make a note of that a let uh, p be a point on it and draw a tangent at that point and draw a tangent draw a tangent that will be an radius vector that will be an radius vector join op that will be a radius vector and as A is a fixed point, as A is a fixed point, A is a fixed point, on the curve, on the curve, then let us define that arc length called AP, RKP as yes. RKP will be yes. So from the figure, I can define that uh, from figure, from figure, I can define the exterior angle is equal to the sum of the interior angle. Sum of the interior angle that is theta plus phi. Now I'm going to differentiate this, differentiate, differentiate this equation with respect to S. So we are going to get d psi by ds, which is equal to d theta by ds plus d phi by ds. So this is the derivative I got when I differentiate psi equal to theta plus phi with respect to s. Yes. Now I am going to make some uh, simplification in this. So d psi by ds is equal to d theta by ds plus just I will multiply and divide by d theta in the second term. So we are going to get d phi by d theta 
into d theta by ds so i got a common term called d theta by ds take out that common term take out that common term d phi by ds is equal to uh, d psi by ds is equal to now as yes, you are taking a common term called you are taking a common term d theta by ds so you are left out with from the first term as we are taking out you are left out with 1 plus d phi by d theta d phi by d theta so as you know that uh, we are finding the radius of curvature so from the definition of radius of curvature we can define what we can define rho as what uh, the reciprocal of uh, curvature so that is therefore we know that so the right hand side can be written as 1 over rho 1, 1 over rho which is equal to d theta by ds d theta by ds times of 1 plus d phi by d theta so find this uh, equation in terms of rho rho can be defined as ds by d theta ds by d theta this whole divided by 1 plus d phi by d theta 1 plus d phi by d theta so i am going to name this as equation 1 now i am going to find out uh, the denominator term i am going to evaluate uh, the denominator by using the def define uh, the denominator term i am going to find out the denominator term as we know that uh, the angle between the angle between the radius vector and the tangent is given by what tan phi is equal to r into d theta by dr r into d theta by dr or i can write this as tan phi is equal to r divided by r1 where r1 is what it is a derivative called d r by d theta so now i am going to differentiate this uh, with respect to theta differentiate this expression with respect to theta so we are going to get derivative of tan psi sorry tan phi is nothing but uh, secant square phi into d phi by d theta d phi by d theta which is equal to now we should apply a quotient rule here since r is a function of theta should apply quotient rule a denominator square that is r1 square numerator is denominator r1 into derivative of uh, numerator derivative of r i'm going to differentiating r so r with respect to theta is r1 again minus r into derivative of denominator derivative of r1 is r differentiation of r1 is r derivative of d by d theta of r1 d by d theta of r1 is nothing but r it's nothing but r so i can rewrite this expression as what d phi by d theta is equal to r1 square minus r r2 divided by divided by r1 square into secant square phi into secant square phi next uh, secant square phi can be written as what we can rewrite a secant square phi as 1 plus tan square phi r1 square times of 1 plus tan square phi but we have defined here uh, tan phi tan phi is nothing but what r by r1 tan phi is nothing but what r by r1 so therefore if we substitute that value here which is nothing but r1 square minus r r2 divided by r1 square times of 1 plus 1 plus 
R square by R1 square. That is nothing but uh, d5 by d theta. d5 by d theta. So now if you take LCM, R1 square minus R R2 divided by R1 square times of taking LCM here. That is R1 square is the LCM. So one times of R1 square. So it is R1 square plus R square. So here R1 square, R1 square get cancelled. Therefore, tan, therefore, d5 by d theta is left out with what? R1 square minus R R2 divided by R1 square plus R square. But I want to find out 1 plus d5 by d theta. So I am going to adding on both the side, adding, adding 1 on both the side, adding 1 on both the side, I am going to get 1 plus d5 by d theta, 1 plus d5 by d theta, which is equal to 1 plus r1 square minus r r2 divided by r square, I am just rewriting r square plus r1 square. Instead of R1 square, I have written R square plus R1 square. So taking LCM here, if you take LCM as R square plus R1 square, this whole term, this whole term will be multiplied to 1. So therefore, 1 times of that will be that same value that is R square plus R1 square plus R1 square minus r r so simplifying this what we are going to get 1 plus d5 by d theta as 1 plus d5 by d theta as r square plus r1 square plus r1 square is 2 r1 square minus r r2 divided by that whole divided by r square plus r1 square so i will name this as equation 2 and also but but ds by d theta is well defined ds by d theta is given given by square root of square root of r square plus r1 square make a note of it r square plus r1 square so i will name this as equation 3 so using 2 and 3 in equation 1 using 2 and 3 in equation 1. So you can go through equation 1 once again. So equation 1 is nothing but we require to find out numerator as ds by d theta, denominator as 1 plus d5 by d theta. So we know that uh, the standard definition of ds by d theta is square root of r square plus r1 square and we have find out 1 plus d5 by d theta. Substitute in this equation we can find out rho using 2 and 3 in 1 using 2 and 3 in 1 therefore rho equal to rho equal to square root of square root of r square plus r1 square whole divided by r square plus 2 r1 square minus r r2 this whole divided by r square plus r1 square so this term goes to the numerator this term goes to the numerator as we know the concept called a divided by b by c is nothing but a c divided by b and also here you should know that root a can be written as a power 1 by 2 and uh, therefore a power 1 by 2 into a is nothing but bases are same at the powers 1 by 2 plus 1 will be equal to what a power 3 by 2 so finally i can rewrite uh, rho as r square plus r1 square whole power 3 by 2 whole power 3 by 2 this whole divided by r square plus 2 r1 square minus r r so this is the required radius of curvature for the polar form. 
for the polar pump is the required radius of curvature for, for the polar pump so rho equal to r square plus r1 square whole power 3 by 2 whole divided by r square plus 2 r1 square minus r r2 is the standard formula for to find the radius of curvature uh, of the given curve as polar cube thank you all for watching uh, this video not subscribe to my channel kindly get subscribed